We will now move on to our program, the Salutatorian Act. Address, which will be given by Sierra Miller. Good afternoon, everyone. As you all may know, this is the class of 2012. You may recognize us for our exceptional athletic ability from seeing our numerous sporting events, or our involvement in the community over these past four years. In addition, I wanted to remind you that this class is exceptionally intelligent, with many students who have taken advanced placement cornerstone or running start courses. This class also has numerous students attending post-secondary education. These students sitting here today are incredibly humorous with thousands of hilarious stories and events to share with all. They are also exceptionally clumsy, which I will elaborate on later. In short, this class is incredible and exceptional in every way possible. I bet everyone sitting on that stage remembers the first day of our senior year. We may not remember the small details, such as getting our first homework assignments, but we remember coming into our leadership class for the first time. Our teacher, Mr. Anson, made all of us arrange the chairs in a long line, and each of us sat down and closed our eyes. At that time, we began a journey through senior year that will forever be remembered for its crazy moments. Through this year, there have definitely been some low points. There have also been some bizarre events. Abby Bridgewater, I will never forget your exceptional athleticism and all of the high school games we have played together. I also will never forget, and nor will our classmates, the time when you were not at school for two weeks because you got a concussion from falling off of a bus seat. I believe that unfolding of events has been labeled the eighth wonder of the world. Another person I would like to highlight is Kenzie Gallagher, who is known very well for her compassion and loyal friendship. She will also be remembered for spraining both of her ankles at the same time while playing volleyball in her front yard. I believe she became quite adept to crawling after that moment of grace. And let's not forget the daredevil Ty Harding, who has broken a total of 13 bones in his lifetime. Aside from physical injuries, we have all had our share of stresses. Finals this year were hectic and crept up on all of us. I will always remember standing on the side of the street before the Chelan Memorial Parade with Adalia Guillen and Lily Morales. We were freaking out the whole time, not because we had a parade to endure, but because we had to study for three finals, turn in a UW English portfolio, and book it to Campbell in time for senior presentation. Girls, we are so lucky we learned how to run in those large, poofy ball gowns what these days in senior year more memorable and has made us prideful of where we are from and who we are. Probably the proudest moment during the year was when Christian Montez and Octavia Lopez helped dig out a certain community member from snooping, and that was awesome. I can also say I felt so happy for everyone on senior work night when our class accumulated several thousand dollars in scholarships. We also had tons of fun during the food drive last fall and collected over 2,000 pounds of food to donate to our local food bank. And what about the simple pleasures, such as hearing our exchange student Laurent Montfort always saying, I'm foreign, I don't know what I'm saying, after she says something off the wall funny. And who could forget our senior trip? I will always remember the sheer joy on Devin Griffith's face when he saw that Molly Moose ice cream shop sold Earl Grey ice cream. And let's just say, what happens in the limo stays in the limo. <laughs> Sitting stays 
in the limo. <laughs> Sitting in that room on the first day of school, Mr. Anderson described senior year like a roller coaster. For simply chugging up the hill idly, when suddenly the coaster would go over its crest and start spiraling downward, there would be twists and turns in times when everything seemed upside down. But that was all part of the ride. After all of the excitement, the ride would finally slow to a stop. That stop is graduation day, this day. I just want to say that I am so grateful that I got to endure this ride with all of you. We have had quite the journey and have made incredible memories along the way. Most of our success comes from the amazing support from everyone around us. So I would like to thank all of our teachers from elementary through senior year, the community, our families, and our friends also deserve our thanks. Now, I want to leave this class of 2012 with the final thought. Just remember that this roller coaster may have ended. We are thinking of this day as the end of the journey. But know that there will be many more crazy rides in the future. And we have made great ties with those around us to help endure all of them and actually enjoy the ride. I love all of you, and in the upcoming future, may the odds be ever in your favor. Thank you.